Can't see you. Oh, hey! Gamer. Oh, <laughs> we say Gamer Alley. I can pick my games up. Gamer Alley here. <laughs> hey, Gamer Alley. Hey. All right, so we're back in beautiful, sunny Canada. Happy to be home from my trip to LA. I just hooked Matt up with his presents. Four games. Got a whole bunch of free games from the EA event. So. Matt. Um, we are about to go garage selling, obviously. Um, I have no plan. I got back late last night. I didn't have anything ready, so we're just gonna go around the route that I used to go and hope that we find some stuff. I'm not that hopeful for today. Um, it's 7 a.m. Uh, we're not going out too early. Uh, this time of year, uh, community sales and tend to be over with, so I'm just gonna drive around freely and uh, hopefully we find some good stuff. What are you looking for today, Matt, since you sold all your retro stuff? Oh, uh, I, st I still got, ga I'm looking for Game Boy, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Vance, and DS. What are you guys looking for today? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for more fidget spinners. Okay, and Teddy? Uh, a toy. Okay, we're off to the first sale. All right, first pickups of the day. A couple Wii games that Matt's gonna show. Penny Racers Party, never heard of that one. Looks like a Micro Machines type racing game. And Mario Kart for five bucks. And then Set Settlers of Catan, Histories, Merchants of Europe, probably a Settlers of, Settlers of Catan expansion pack, I'm guessing. Five bucks for that. All right, just made a really filthy pickup, but the guy wanted 10 bucks for the whole box, so. PS2 Slim is a loose copy of Crash Bandicoot Warped. PS2 Slim, filthy. Hopefully it works. Copy of Legend of Dragoon has all the discs. I think it's missing the manual. Um, Simpsons Hit and Run. A stack of random PS1, 2, and 3, and DVDs. There's a Spyro in there. There's a couple good games. I don't know what I'll do with them loose. And a bunch of PS2 games in the box for 10 bucks. So good deal there. Just everything's really filthy and in rough shape. Can I show you? Show them what you got. Um, <laughs> I got this. Actually, Andrew got a brand new Minecraft Lego set. And and what'd you get, Ted? Sleepy head? I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you something, don't worry. What's up guys, we're back in the basement. It's now like two weeks later. Uh, I apologize for the lack of videos and the lack of quality videos lately. I've, uh, I've just had a lot of stuff going on um, and I just haven't had the desire to make videos, to be honest. Um, I think I'm coming out of that little phase. I've been pretty busy. I've been doing a lot of video stuff at work, so I just haven't had the desire to come home and make more videos. So I'm going on a bit of a tear here. I'm hoping to get three videos completed right now. Uh, the garage sale stuff, um, this is obviously a garage sale video, but I'm slipping in this little update here. Um, it's been slow. The, this stuff is uh, from the from what I picked up. Uh, the footage hasn't been great. Uh, one week um, I was having car issues, and then the following week I only went out for an hour. So this is the stuff that I've gotten those two weeks. I'll be getting to the stuff that I got yesterday next. Um, I did okay yesterday, so there's some pretty good stuff in there. But I'm just going to go through this stuff. Um... I'll get this big guy out of the way. I picked up this uh, LCD TV. 13 inch, $5. I grab these whenever I can if they're under 15 bucks. Uh, they're great um, for having, I have, I think, two down here just over on a little table there with uh, clone systems hooked up to them or something like that. Or the NES Classic I'll probably put on this one and then if I have people over or the kids want to play something it's right there. Uh, you can't go wrong. Actually keep one upstairs on the main floor if somebody comes by and is picking up a system I'll hook it up and show them that it's working and everything so it's right by the front door so I don't have to invite them down here. Um, but then typically if they look like they're not going to try and rob me and they're into video games I'll be like okay come downstairs I gotta show you something. <laughs> And then, of course, their minds are blown when they see all this stuff down here. So, $5. RCA, not a great brand, but um, it's only 720p, but it's a great little TV for 5 bucks. 
Um, so like two weeks ago, I picked up this uh, PSP bundle. Um, I don't normally pick up PSPs, but I asked the lady what she wanted for it, and she said 20 bucks. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, it's the white PSP uh, 3000 model, actually. It's in okay shape. There's some scuffs on the screen. Um, missing the battery cover. I've already ordered a replacement from AliExpress. Uh, I think there was like 10 games at least. Um, unfortunately, this one wasn't in there. I'm going to keep some of these. Uh, we got Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted 510, uh, FIFA Street 2, I'll hold on to that one, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix, I'll definitely be keeping that one, uh, probably keep this one too, Tony Hawk's Project 8, and Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire, not games that I actually come across too often. These ones all seem to be a little bit more, well, I haven't seen them. I don't know if they're uncommon. And then we got Madden 09, ATV Off-Road Fury Pro, uh, the For Star Wars The Force Unleashed, um, Raw versus, or SmackDown, SmackDown versus Raw, MLB 2K10, Invisimals, NBA Live 07, Ratchet and Clank. I'll just bundle all these and hopefully, uh, I think I'd probably get 60 bucks or so for it. I'll probably keep this. It came with a little PSP camera. I think this is for Invisimals, car charger. Yeah, so 20 bucks for all that stuff is a pretty good deal. Uh, PSPs don't, don't uh, flip all that well, but um, I mean, I could safely keep these games and flip it for 50 or 60 bucks and probably pay for whatever, you know, whatever I spent on this week's stuff will probably be paid for with that bundle. So, um, picked up two random Wii games. I didn't have this one. Penny Racers Party Turbo Q Speedway. It looks like Micro Machines, so I picked it up. I don't know if it's any good. Let me know in the comments below. And then Mario Kart Wii. I think I paid five bucks for both. Um, nice little, uh, GBA lot towards the end of the day. Um, this was last weekend, I believe. Um, so I just asked if he had any games. He said, I have a GBA SP. Um, it ended up being a 101 model, which is amazing. It's got a bunch of nasty stickers on it, but other than that, it's in good shape. It should clean up pretty well. Uh, I don't think I'll mod this one. I'll just probably flip it. Uh, came with Charger and some interesting games. So, Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. I think he said that this is a repro because it never came out in North America. Uh, whoever did the repros did a good job. I think they may have used original boards and cases somehow and then printed a label and, I don't know, reflashed a ROM. I don't know if that's possible. Let me know in the comments below. Copy of Mother 3, which obviously never came out in North America. Same deal with that one. They look really nice. We got Shrek Super Slam. Sorry, that's probably not focusing very well. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which I got my I got a chance to play this at E3, the uh, new 3DS version. And then Mario Kart Super Circuit. So a really nice GBA bundle. Uh, 30 bucks for that. I asked him what he'd want. He was, he said he collected for a while, so I was expecting quite a bit. Um, he said 30 bucks and I, that's a great deal considering it's a 101. So, yeah, nice little deal there. Um, just trying to make room here. Uh, picked up a copy of Kiss... Catan Histories, Merchants of Europe. This is like, I believe, an expansion pack for Catan. It's in mint condition. I don't think it's ever been used. Uh, I think pieces are, yeah, I doubt this has ever been used. It's in really nice shape. Uh, anyways, I paid five bucks for it, so I'll add that to the board game collection of board games that I rarely ever play. Uh-oh boys found me. I'm down here. No. Okay, and then the last pickup that I picked up over the past two weeks. Uh, I'm down here. Uh, this random 
box of really gross, dirty, and kind of beat up video games. Uh, I was looking at it. I found this in there, The Legend of Dragoon. Uh, the guy said 10 bucks for everything. So I'll show you what's in here quick. Um, I'm pretty sure all the games... Well, that's not bad, actually. So we got Tony Hawk Underground, SOCOM 2, uh, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, NHL Snickerfritz, uh, Triple Play, True Crime Streets of LA. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Hello. <laughs> that's funny. Copy of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Loose, though. But still worth a little bit. True Crime Streets of LA. I already said that. Uh, two nice one, a nice one here. Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. So, I mean, there's my 10 bucks already, easily. There's Andrew. Go put a shirt on, please. Yep, your shirt's upstairs. Go put it on now. Uh, Guitar Hero 2. I've got about a million of these. Uh, World of Warcraft. Looks like the original. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Can I use this for anything? Is this pretty much useless? Can I use the code? I don't know how PC games... I don't think I can use that. I'm gonna guess there's a product code or key in there. And I guess it's already been used, so I doubt that I can... Uh, World of Warcraft. This is the Burning Crusade. I don't know, maybe I'll keep... hold on to those. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Warp. So you can see there's some decent games in here. I mean, they're loose and they would need a resurfacing, some of them. Probably most of them. Like, there's a copy of Oni. Uh, Robin Hood, Defender of the Crown. That's a Capcom game. X-Men. Oh my god, I'm not going to go through all these. Uh, PS2 games. DVDs can go in the garbage. Um, NFL Street. We've got, like, Arkham Origins here on the PS3. <laughs> Pretty random. A Jackson 5 CD. Primal. There's decent games here. They're just, unfortunately, look how they've been kept. Look at that. Another copy of Battlefront 2. I mean, there's some value in these. Uh, and then, here's a really good one. Spyro Ripto's Rage. Which is totally thrashed. So, yeah. Um... Probably the best of which is The Legend of Dragoon. It seems to be complete. Disc 1 is in pretty rough shape. It'll totally play, I'm sure. I just need to clean it up. Yeah, it looks like all the discs aren't in great shape. So, they're going to need some resurfacing, but for 10 bucks, I've got a local game store that has a resurfacer. I'm sure that he'd give me something for these. So, uh, Then we got a... PS2 Slim, that looks like it's been opened, not not really a good sign. Look at that, copy of Gun, uh, with a scratch ring around it, that's always encouraging. This should probably just be thrown in the garbage. Um, typically people will mod these and it like alters the inside and it can lift up this one piece and it'll scratch all your discs. That's what happened to me when I had mine modded by a shady local company called... Oh god, what are they called? They recently got sued by Nintendo. They're in Waterloo. Let me know on the... Oh, GoCyberShop.ca. Very shady company. That destroyed my PS2 back in the day and were like, Oh, you're using the wrong discs is what they said. You need to use the right discs. It, was, it scratched all my games. Okay. Two controllers that are... Pretty beat and dirty and disgusting. This one might be salvageable. Um, RF adapter, a uh, crappy DVD player, oh, more discs. Interesting. Copy of the bouncer. So there's some good games here. Uh, anyways, that was 10 bucks for all that dirty, disgusting stuff. And that is it for the last couple weeks. I am about to move on to this week's stuff, which you'll see in the video next week. So. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, videos will be coming back. I have a arcade block, gamer block unboxing. I'm working on, I've got a whole bunch of those vlogs from E3, some really good stuff from LA, Hollywood, uh, Santa Monica. So that's coming up also. And then we've also got the Game Boy Quest videos that I am still working on. Um, so yeah, you'll see a couple videos this week. 
and hopefully I'll stick with it. I'm very busy right now, so it's been tough, but uh, I'll tell you what it is, okay? I had this basement torn apart, and uh, we're refinishing our bathroom. I had a bunch of stuff in the bathroom that I had to put out in here. Yesterday, I spent like three hours reorganizing and tidying up this basement a little bit, and then it gives me the motivation to do videos. If I come down here and I know that the basement's just an absolute mess, why is the microphone peaking so much? Oh man. So if I come down here and I know that the basement's a complete disaster, then I'm less likely to do videos. So now that it's clean, I'm hoping to get a bunch of videos done. So thank you so much for watching. Do me a big favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And uh, till the next episode.